Hi, I'm Eduardo Norette with Campus Reform. Today we're talking to young Americans and students about college mascots, songs, and symbols on campus. There's been an increase in a movement to want to remove some of these symbols and mascots because they may be offensive or racist. So we're going to show some students some examples, see what they think about them, and see if they can tell us why they're offensive. All right, so a lot of colleges and universities are taking the time now to rethink a lot of their logos, their mascots, some of their theme songs in light of a lot of the racial protests we've seen across the country. So people are saying they're offensive. So we're going to play a little game here, keeper or toss. I'm going to show you some examples, and you guys let me know if you think it's offensive. All right, so the first one here is San Diego State Aztecs. Do you guys think that's offensive or not? It's the Aztecs. The Aztecs, like, aren't San Diego. That seems kind of offensive, man. Uh, I'd say that's offensive because... Uh, Indians and Native Americans still are very prevalent throughout the U.S. It seems like a whole Redskins ordeal again, you know, like the football team, like, you know, come on. I mean, if it's not a Native American wearing it, then, yeah, then it's a problem. This is the University of Florida. They're doing the Gator Bait chant. Uh, if you're not familiar, they kind of extend their hands and do the chomp, and then they say Gator Bait. So the school said they re are getting rid of it. Do you guys think that is offensive at all? I went to UF, yeah. so I don't think it's offensive. It's I know like why people think it's offensive, but I don't think it was meant in an offensive way. I think it was gator bait like the other team. I understand now, like I get that it, it can be insensitive and I, I see it with, with the history. I mean if if it has that bad connotation and everyone agrees and of course change it. So this is the Holy Cross Crusaders, so their their mascot is a crusader. What do you guys think about that? Crusaders like fucked up Europe and like shit like no, they're named after the Crusaders. The Crusaders themselves were like religious jihadists of the Christian faith. Even if it's a Catholic school, like make it like fucking Santa Claus or something, you know? Not a crusader. It's just like it's a it's a violence I don't know. It would be said if like we're the again like Al-Qaeda, if it was the name, it would be like a weird thing, you know. The George Washington University Colonials, that's George Washington. What do you guys think? Do you think having Colonials as your mascot is offensive? I think it is a problem because they're like colonists. Right. Again, why would you have a mascot of someone who basically stole land? I would say yes. It's got to go again. UVA had a, you know, so they've got the the swords. So that's their logo. The, the one on the left is what it was before. It, got, it had like the serpentine handle. And they just recently changed it to a flat handle because the serpentine handle, they're saying, you know, again, offensive. If it is a Confederate thing, that is, yeah. that probably then definitely 100% agree it should be gone. So this is one at Dartmouth University. It's a weather vane. Do you find that offensive at all? Yeah. No, actually, I would take that one down just because it looks kind of like some slavery stuff going on there. They kind of had a weather thing with like a TP and just Indians around. They didn't have to have a pilgrim in that. Anything having to do with Native Americans and like, I just think, again, this is, this is, this could be considered offensive. So yes, definitely take it down. So anything that show, we can't show, just to be clear, we don't want to show Native Americans or depict them. No, not necessarily. It's about no. depicting them in a respectful manner that represents their culture and still holds their values and what their, basically their purpose was before we came and destroyed, like, their land for our own use. What is the standard? What is the definition that colleges and universities should use for what is offensive? How would you specify? What is the standard there? Um. <laughs> uh. Lord. Um. It, it's hard because what is allowed for these things to happen is that someone probably there was ignorance someone didn't realize that this was offensive to someone else standards should definitely be some it if it mocks people if it's done in poor taste or if it's done in a way like you can't be like tone deaf i really think it's at your own discretion and just how you want to make your school and your campus feel if it's offensive and people are who go to these universities and stuff are like uncomfortable because of it. Like, I definitely think you, you don't want to be somewhere where you're uncomfortable. So they should change it. If it's offensive to someone, then I don't understand why it has to be a thing when there's a lot of other options. Yeah. Does it have to be offensive to a, a certain number of people? You mentioned, you know, if it's offensive to someone, how, how many is enough? You have to use common sense. Like, if, if, if I'm a white person, I'm a Native American person, came up to me and told me this is offensive to me, who is me as a white person say, no, this shouldn't be that offensive to you. If a college or university is going to remove something, how many people have to say it's offensive? Should it be a certain percentage of the student body? Not necessarily. I don't think I could necessarily agree with it having to be like an X amount of people. If one person has offended me as the president of a school, I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure that that one person feels comfortable. I don't think numbers matter. I think action does. So if there's action put in, I mean, it could be a small group that 
puts better action and more energy into it than a bigger group. Basically, even if a small number of people want to do it and they're they're getting behind it, that's enough. Yeah, if they're if they're into it and they get, I mean, every group begins with a small group, and so I don't think there needs to be put. A, I don't think anyone needs should put a number on that. Do you agree? Do you think if if one person's offended, action should be taken to make sure they feel comfortable, like your friend said? Yep, I definitely agree with what he just said. I think that. It's important to take into consideration like every student's needs. It definitely should be closer to the majority than the minority. How's it going? I'm Eduardo Norette with Campus Reform. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe to get our latest content, click right here. If you're interested in joining our team as a correspondent or an investigator, click there. And if you want to donate to make sure we can create more great content like this, click right here.